Hi everyone. Um, this week we're going to do a Christmas project. Um, so every year I make more and more stockings and every year I say it's going to be my last for a while. Uh, well, I am sticking to that, but um, I'm going to make some mini stockings uh, for gift cards. See, I'm not breaking the rule, I'm bending it ever so slightly. So these are brilliant if you'd prefer not to buy um, more gift card holders this year um, and they will hold a little extra something, so a chocolate, a candy cane, a note, whatever. So the first step is to fold your stocking fabric in half um, with the right sides together and draw around the template. Um, the template, by the way, is free on our blog. Um, I'll post a link to that in the video description so that you know where to get it. Now pin those layers together and cut around the lines um, through both layers of fabric. Repeat the same steps with the cuff fabric and the pattern piece for the cuff. So a quarter inch seam uh, down both short ends of the cuff. Then carefully fold over one of the longer edges by a quarter inch. and sew around that. This will create a nicely folded edge. Set that aside and now sew around the main stocking pieces. Remember that the fabric should be right sides together and you need to sew all the way around leaving just the top open. Also remember to backstitch when you start and when you get to the end. Now trim the excess seam allowance using pink and shears. If you haven't got any pink and shears, um, at least clip the curves in the stocking. Cut your ribbon to 8 inches long. And fold it in half to form a loop. Put the two raw edges on the heel side of your stocking, one on each side.
temporarily clip that in place. Now slide the cuff over the top of the stocking, aligning the seams um, either side and the top edge as best you can. The previously stitched side um, of that cuff needs to be facing down the stocking, um, so the raw edge it will run across the top. Clip that in place. Sew around that top edge to secure the cuff. Um, it can be a bit fiddly, so I mean you can always hand sew this closed if you really want to. Um, I'm just lazy and I don't like hand sewing. Um, I recently redid my very first YouTube video, which um, meant that I had to sew on 12 buttons um, to the candle mat. Oh, and it was so annoying. Um, but I guess I was able to do it while watching something on YouTube, so not all bad. Now turn the stocking right way out and poke out the edges as best you can. Um, I often use this edge and point turner. Um, it works really well. Um, you can basically just run the edge of it down each seam. Fold the cuff down, um, this will also release the hanging loop. And there we go. Uh, you can give it a press at this point, I didn't, clearly. Pop in your chosen gift card, maybe a note, a little chocolate or a sweet, and that's a gift sorted. Hang it on the tree uh, to use as decoration until you've gifted it. Hope you enjoyed that. I've got a quilt block coming up and then I'll finally be releasing my redo of my very first YouTube video, the Christmas candle map. So please do ensure that you're subscribed so you can see the updated version. Until next time, happy sewing.